of that usual debate. Are we going to do like a normal video while I do this and just not address the fact that I'm doing this? While people go, what the fuck is he doing? Yeah, Jay's making you should, you should blur this out unless they give us money. Yeah. Um. I'm not one of those people that goes, I'm not one of those people that goes, oh, you know, if you want to get good at no-gi, the grips make you better at no-gi. Do you know what I mean? Like, uh, dude, if you're a basketball player, I'm sure playing handball is probably a good, you know, if you're going to do a sport, I'm sure that fucking maybe has some carryover. But nobody in the world has gone like, oh, man, what are you, not playing fucking handball? Like, nobody in the NBA has not played handball. Like, it's not an essential fucking... They all do weight training. They all maybe run sprints, but nobody is like, you must play fucking handball. Even though there probably could be some positive carryover or whatever, you know? The problem is, while the grips... This is going to fucking really annoy me. While the grips... Like, I'm jerking off this fucking thing. While the grips... Uh, the arguments that everybody makes with, uh, with training in the gi and jiu-jitsu is like, okay, well... The grips are more complex, the movement set is more complex, so it makes you have to be more cautious and more well thought out and blah, blah, blah. And you have to have better balance because the sweeps are easier because there are more handles and all the shit. Your defense has to be tighter because there's fucking friction and you can't just rip your slippery arm out of shit. So you actually have to position your arm out of shit. Yeah, all those things are true. But it's like... You don't need to train in a gi to get good at jiu-jitsu. There's like a division of, of, of resources that you have, you know what I mean? Like there's a limited amount of fucking time. If you want to be the best in the world at fucking no-gi grappling, it would be smart to focus on no-gi grappling. That would be the smartest option. That's why people that want to be good at basketball fucking play basketball. They don't spend half their time playing fucking handball. You know what I mean? So like if you want to be amazing at gi jiu-jitsu, you should do gi jiu-jitsu. If you want to be amazing at no gi jiu-jitsu, you should do no gi jiu-jitsu. I'm not saying something fucking outrageous. If you want to be good at a sport, I don't know, maybe fucking do that sport. That's how you get good at things. Specificity of training, right? Awesome. Me as an individual, I would say do both, but that's because my basic view of jiu-jitsu is as a fighting art. Fucking Chesty Lurie is about to come walking in. So, uh, Chesty. There he is. Trusty producer. <laughs> Boy, you getting ready for that black belt test, huh? You up at night thinking about it yet? Well, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I've just been watching online BJJ projects. Uh, highlight reel of the best moments from the podcast okay. at your black belt test. What are you gonna put together? <laughs> Anyway, you might practice editing that out. Anyway, the reason that I uh, tell people to train both is because my basic view of jiu-jitsu as a premise is, is for fighting, it's for self-defense. So it would make no sense to me for somebody who trains only in the gi uh, to get outside in a fight and have somebody start hockey fighting you know, or I'm sorry, you know what I mean? Like, if they get in a fight, if you only train gi and you get in the fight uh, in the summertime and a dude's wearing fucking basketball shorts and the grips that you're accustomed to, as you try to get your grip, you get fucking clipped and you're not accustomed to it because you haven't trained without your handles, that's a fucking problem for me. Likewise, somebody trains no gi all the time because they call that more realistic and then they get in a fight in the fucking wintertime and somebody grabs their shirt and starts hockey fighting with them and they're like... Normally, I pop the elbow here and shoot under, but I can't because this is happening, and then I get my ass beat because I'm not used to jackets. That's fucking ridiculous. That makes no sense to me. You know what I mean? Uh, another guy wearing clothes. If the dude's not wearing uh, sturdy clothing that you can use as a weapon, then cool, don't use it. Use no gi tactic. You're using hooks and position. If uh, somebody's wearing a jacket, I want to be able to use it. Not just have it not impede me, but I want to be able to actually fucking use it Having a dude wearing a fucking sweatshirt and not understanding how to use it is like having a gun on the table next to you and fucking picking it up backwards and shit. Because you're like, oh, 
I don't know how to use that. It makes no sense. Like, you should know how to use everything in a fight. Like, if you're talking about whooping somebody's ass hand-to-hand, -hand, you need to be able to fight with gi, without gi. They have one, you don't. You have one, they don't. You both have, you both don't have. It doesn't matter. Like, you should be able to whoop somebody's ass upside down, sideways, backwards, with a jacket, without a jacket. It don't matter, you know? Um, but the problem is, nowadays, people aren't talking about that. When people talk about jiu-jitsu, they're talking about the sport of jiu-jitsu. They're, they're, they're arguing about the sport of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and like, man, if you want to get if you want to get good at Gi Jiu-Jitsu you know, if you want to get good at UFC uh, MMA style fighting, do you wear a Gi or not? If you want to get good at Abu Dhabi do you wear a Gi or not? And I, 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 don't, I don't agree, I mean, I think that if you're going to play a sport, train specifically for that sport, put all your resources in training the things that actually occur in that sport, and with the time that you have left do crossover training that is you know handball fucking you know what I mean like if you play basketball and you want to do something cool handball might be more uh, applicable than volleyball if you're going to pick some weird random side cross training sport pick sports that are similar enough that they're going to have some kind of carryover so in that case if somebody's doing MMA and they have off season in between fights they want to keep training but they don't want to get too burned on the same thing all the time maybe they jump in and roll a little sometimes there's nothing wrong with it, you know but I don't think if you're missing out on the gi you're missing out in, in competition you know? I think the one argument people make that's kind of stupid is they'll go if you look at the last 10 years all of the champions in Abu Dhabi were people that uh, trained in the gi and you're like yeah because 10 years ago those people that won Abu Dhabi have been training for 15 20 years well, 15, 20 years ago, everybody trained in the fucking gi. It's almost impossible to find somebody that didn't come up training in the gi. Now I think it's a little different. I think you get another 10 years from now, and you're going to find people that win Abu Dhabi and win the UFC that have never, ever put a gi on. You know what I mean? I, I don't think that's going to be uncommon in another 5, 10, 15 years, you know, something like that. But uh, I think if you're training for a sport, train specifically for that sport, focus on it and get better at it. And if you're training for self-defense, Train in everything because you got to be able to fight in anything. So there you go. Put your fucking gear on. Take your gear off. Doesn't matter. Be able to fight. Fucking bullshit.